It seems like it was ages ago when we were filming the first episode of Once Upon a Tree where we listed some of the Earth's environmental ills. I began thinking recently, is there any message that recurs often enough to be a kind of take-home message? For the past eight weeks, we've looked at an assortment of trees and have seen the enormous number of things they do. They provide homes for other living things, renewable products, they protect watersheds, and they also are a reference point for our individual and collective memories and a focal point for community identity. We've looked at their ecology, their history, their heritage value, and their conservation. What can we possibly conclude from all of this? What I find interesting is that trees really don't do anything special. They do nothing more than make food, grow, and reproduce. They blindly follow a set of genetic instructions and react to the environment in various ways to ensure their continued growth and survival. What I find amazing is that trees, in the course of doing what is best for them, are able to make and sustain life for just about every other living thing. And what I find humbling is that you and I are also part of that intricate, interconnected network of living things, and that what we do has some effect, positive or negative, on trees and things that depend on trees. There's a word in Japanese, seimeiryoku, which is often translated into English as vitality or literally life power. I think that the word has a deeper meaning. Seimeiryoku is the powerful life force that all living things have, and I think trees have an incredible life force. We've seen that trees put up with just about anything the elements can throw at them. They can even tolerate many indignities that humans heap upon them, such as pollution or poor land use, at least up to a point. They silently grow, often to magnificent proportions, whilst experiencing what must be incredible environmental stresses. And they do this without doing anything special. They just heed the call of their genetically encoded ancestry. The people you've met in Once Upon a Tree are probably not doing anything heroic or special, at least not to them. But what they do from my point of view is extraordinary and inspiring. They came from all walks of life, academia, business, education. Some were professors, other had unfancied scholastic pedigrees, but none of that mattered. In following their own desire to look after trees, they managed to achieve the incredible. My hope is that we've helped you, our audience, to connect with the source of their inspiration and to encourage you on your own journey. Perhaps one day, caring for trees and looking after our heritage will not be considered something noteworthy. It will just become our way of life.